in it, man. You are in it bad. Nobody's coming back for you, punk. Yeah, Mo, what's up? Uh, Hank, I could have some trouble here. A couple of guys brought somebody to my house this morning. He's been pretty badly shot up. Is it this motorcycle gang? The guy who was shot could be. He's got a mohawk and about two tons of gold in bad manners. I'll be over in a couple of minutes. Going over to Doc Sullivan. Nobody comes through that door but me. <laughs> Man, that old tumble lard can't stand up to my boys. We will eat that pig for lunch. <laughs> oh. Jen. Face. Doctor, is he any better? No. He's not going to be until that other friend of yours gets here and gives him some blood. <sighs> Doctor, we've got to ask your confidence on this. Nobody can know. As soon as he's well enough to move, we'll get him out of here. We'll pay cash. $5,000. Is that enough? I'm not interested in your money. I just want to know what happened to my patient. I haven't seen a wound like that since Vietnam. You're in Vietnam. You must have been a captain. You'll forgive me if I don't salute. He's a colonel. Freeze it or lose it. Raise him nice and slow. Stick him up, colonel. I'd search him, though. Nine millimeter. It's nice. No doubt about it. You're on a cold streak here. Of course, you realize when we run these prints through, we are going to find out who you guys are. I told you before, we're ballet dancers. That guy over docks is our choreographer. Yeah, we had a nasty audience. I don't think they liked our pas de deux. Opened up on us from the first row with a 50 caliber machine gun. All right, let's go. Cover me. Mm -hmm. Punch these clowns up on a computer. Run their prints for outstanding warrants. All right. <laughs> All right. More dog meat for the party. You see, we're throwing this little party. Y'all are invited. Who's the 200 pound cockroach? He's in more trouble than you guys. Pulled him over for speeding and ran his prints. He's got outstanding warrants for murder one in two states. <laughs> you ain't getting me to trial, man. My boys are gonna come in here and bust me out. Oh, we'll get you to Jenko. Bet on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is Deputy Harmson. I got a couple guys down here I want you to run through your computer. Waste of time, Deputy. We have friends in very high places. Lockdown, lockdown. Patient Murdoch escaping from video game and arcade room. Pedal to the metal, sweetheart! Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, Sheriff. That was military intelligence. Did you believe they've been looking for them two yehos since the end of the Vietnam War? No kidding, for what? 
<laughs> Robbing the bank of Hanoi. Yeah, they're gonna send some MPs over here. They ought to be here sometime late this afternoon. Good. I don't want to have to sit on anyone but Sonny Jenko. Well, listen, military intelligence said we best keep our eye on that white-haired fellow. That is John Hannibal Smith, Colonel. He's got some kind of a escape artist or something. I mean, he already busted out of Fort Bragg once. Nobody's gonna break out of my jail. Come on, Colonel. The Bank of Hanoi? Yeah. We kind of like that one ourselves. Could say we had a yen for some extra money. Oh. Yeah, well, you have a chance to tell that all to the military court. You have some MPs coming up here to take you guys back home to your stockade. No offense, Sheriff, but that's been tried before. You're not breaking out of here, Smith. They already told us how you and your guys broke out of Fort Bragg. My jail's different. <laughs> Sheriff, you gotta be kidding about this place. I could break out of here on horseback. Here you go, kid. Well, I'll take my chances, Houdini. You want to put some money on that? $20 says he can do it. Crow Magnin there can hold the money for it. Got a real mouth on you, kid. My boys break me out of here. I'm going to come over there and shut it myself. You expecting company, Sheriff? We might stick around. Nobody's coming back for that creep. His gang's long gone. And you're not going anywhere either, Colonel. Uh, never underestimate your enemy, Sheriff. Overconfidence is a real killer. I think General Custer said that. Well, don't worry about me. Just worry about what you're going to say to the military court when they send you up for life. I never worry. But if Slimy over there is right, we could be taking on a little water. Jen. <laughs>